Here with Mitch Hellman. Mitch is from Sandhills Global in Lincoln, Nebraska. And uh, Mitch is here to talk about some bulldozer values today. Uh, Mitch, real quick, tell us a little bit about Sandhills and, and, and how you come up with all this fabulous data you share with me. Absolutely, David. Thank you for bringing me out here today. Uh, yeah, Sandhills as a whole, you know, we we live in the retail space and the wholesale and the auction, uh, you know, with, with Machinery Trader with regards to construction equipment, which many of you prior are familiar with, uh, you know, it's based up of, you know, mostly dealer inventory out there. Uh, every cat dealer, deer dealer, pretty much everyone does business with us. So from a retail standpoint, we collect all the, the retail and uh, dealer inventory out there. Uh, we also got products on the auction side that for end of life for auctioneers uh, to utilize along with dealers. Uh, so as a whole, we have our kind of our feet in both the dealer and the auctioneer market. Um, I love these reports that you send. We do a lot of appraisals at Blackbird, and I'm looking at this report on, on bulldozers in the U.S. market and the inventory trend. Let's talk about this. There seems to be a lack of inventory right now. It's, it's decreasing. How can that be? We're in a pandemic. We're, we're, what's happening to these bulldozers? It's been interesting. You know, this pandemic, you know, you go back, you know, six months ago, there was production cuts. May and June, a lot of the production across any industry was pretty much shut down for 60 days, sometimes a little longer, depending on the different OEMs. That kind of has accelerated what's kind of happening, I would say, in today's market. With production shut down, new orders got pushed out. There was a need for late model used. This was a year that was going to be some inventory sold. When you look at the total inventory trends, and we do this with dozers in, in general, you, you kind of got to look at the different, not just the inventory as a whole, but you got to look at the different metric tons because metric tons will break out the different uses of, of dozers and what, you know, what kind of job site is what, you know, that they're being used on. So what do you see right now as being a hot commodity relative to weight class in the dozer market? You know, as, as a whole, those dozers, you know, what's getting sold off is a lot of the, the smaller dozers. You get into the four to five metric tons, uh, a little bit smaller. There's there's a decrease in all in really all dozer class as a whole. But, you know, that four to five metric ton, the smaller dozer is, is getting sold off. Uh, a lot of that, you know, that we see is, is coming. There's been a drive and a sell off from rental companies. Uh, from older older units out there, you know, with with them, you know, with some of these massive rental companies that you know are selling off some machinery. You know, there was a big production uh, boom in 2012. You know, some of these units are are getting to close to middle to end of life, and uh, some of those units are are moving out. Interesting. Let's look at the next graph. Shows average price by age. You're talking about age instead of instead of size. Obviously, the the black line there are are the the late model dozers and Newer machines have a, a nice price spike in this COVID space, and the older machines are flat. Some have some increases, depending. Is there a reason that these late model machines have had such an increase? Is it simply the lack of brand new machines that is out there because of the, the lack of production? Yeah, you'll see, you know, as new machines and production got pushed back, you know, when, when manufacturing was came to a halt in general, uh, you know, there's going to be a demand for late model, high quality new, you know, lightly used machines. And, you know, we see that. Um, we see that in auction pricing. And it's so fascinating to see it supported in the data and, and graphically as we have here. Um, fabulous, fabulous. How does this impact Blackbird Asset Services clients, our bank clients that are that are lending money against this equipment to buy it or or they've already got a they've got a contractor who's got a fleet. If you had to, a crystal ball, are, are those values in, in the bulldozer market, are they safe? In their collateral, are these are these values going to hold up, or or do you see that that once we catch up to the production ring, that that something's going to fall off the cliff? Do you have any opinion? You know, I, I think a lot of it, you know, depends on you know. There, right now, we're living in a, a world where there's big demand. You know, there. there well, I look at you know just the infrastructure bill that was passed. You know, and where you know all the new road construction, and you know when you're when you're looking at road construction and. Uh, all the jobs that are, you know, have gotten going are really in the, you know, the beginning middle phases of, you know, these long term projects, dirt moving dozer, you know, dozer equipment is, is going to be sought after with the production cut, as we talked about, there's going to be a demand for that late model stuff because they can't wait another year for that equipment to hit the job site. They need it now. 
So when you when you look into the smaller stuff, uh, you know, there's there's been a sell off. But, you know, as the, as equipment goes out the door, you know, typically retail prices will rebound later on because auction will always lead it on the front side. But values will go up. So I would assume, you know, it's things are, are going to be OK for the next several years. Fascinating insight, Mitch. Thanks for your time today. Mitch, Helm. absolutely. Have a Thank great you, day. David. Thanks, Mitch. Yep. 